Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be working on this little drawing that I was working on yesterday, so today I'm going to be finishing it off. I really wanted to work on it later that day, but I was really, really busy. So today we're going to work on this together. I'm still fiddling around with the settings on this little camera, hoping that I can get some better quality out of it. I think already there is some improvement, so I, I think I'm getting I'm getting closer, it's getting better. So today we're going to keep playing around with this and hopefully we can get some better quality out of this and uh, we'll get some good doodles done today. You'll also notice that on, I did end up doing a few things here. It wasn't off camera, I actually did record this but silly me, I made some mistakes while recording and I accidentally lost the footage for that little bit. I've been having some computer issues my brain apparently just cannot cannot function properly. I'm going to just start rotating this guy around right here. And uh, I'm going to start putting a few things here. I'm just trying to figure out which side. So I'm kind of on that top area here. <coughs> let's see, let's see. What kind of things? I think I actually want to continue using. So this is uh, the same kind of pen as this black one. It just happens to be a blue one. I did use it a little bit in a few places. Again, it's in that, that small amount of footage that I lost. I used it here, over here a little bit. So I'm going to just keep using it over here. Let's see what we can make. Maybe this will be nice. Maybe it will be nice. Maybe it won't. Not to mention that I'm slightly annoyed with my computer. It's doing funny things, and I don't appreciate funny things from a computer. So I've I've had to I've had to ask for computer help from my husband, and I hate doing that. I don't like doing that. I try to be as <laughs> I try to take care of my computer problems on my own if I can, and then just only if I have to, I will. I'll ask him for help because he's very busy. He's just super super busy. He's working full time, and so. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I did not know how to resolve this issue with my computer this time, and I had to wait for him to come help me, to come rescue me. It's just how it happens sometimes. It's just how it happens. And so right now, I'm just, I'm just going to keep doodling on this, going to keep adding some little shapes, see what I can make. Maybe I'll, I will cool my jets. Maybe I'll calm down a little bit. Computers are very annoying. They are wonderful. I love using them. But I'm kind of bad at using them. I'm going to outline this piece right here. I am quite bad at computers, even though I love them so much. So I guess that's what today is going to be. So I, I'm just looking at, at the screen, and I think it is uh, it is giving me a better image right now bitter. At least it's more true to the actual colors. And I think the resolution is just a little bit better. So that's that's good at least. Very, very good. I did spend quite a bit of time trying to get that resolved. So there is that. And I know that, that uh, a few people did, did make some comments and let me know, kind of gave me some feedback in yesterday's video <coughs> about how to try to resolve the issues with the camera here. And so I did try some of those things and I think it turned out okay. I think it is helping. I'm, I'm still figuring it out. I'm still learning. Not to mention that I bought this camera long enough ago that I can't really return it, so I have to figure it out. I just have to. So that's what I will be doing. And I do realize that this is a much less expensive, so a much more inexpensive device. And so, inevitably, it's going to mean that the quality of this won't be as great. Obviously on my iPad, I'm going to get, I can pretty much get 4K resolution. I usually just stick to like the 1080p or something like that. And it's pretty good. It has a very smart camera on the on the iPad. 
but this little guy is is doing pretty well considering I did not pay anywhere near as much for this as I did for that iPad so a lot to think about at least when it comes to the devices that I use and just kind of be grateful for what they can accomplish at least that's what I'm trying to do let's see here what kind of what kind of things can I add here should I do more line work I don't think I've done have I done it have I not done it I'm just going to start right here and just see what happens I'm still trying to maintain that mindset of just doing whatever whatever happens so let me just keep going here maybe and I will occasionally kind of play with the, the settings a little just to make sure that it's doing its job I know that sometimes it won't be in focus and then I have to keep in keep an eye on that I think maybe that's the the thing that makes makes it a little less useful when using these kind of things is that it requires constant attention to make sure that I'm doing the right thing whereas my iPad it just knows what to do everything's set up already and I don't have to do anything so I think I like that a lot better Okay. I think what I'd like to do is is uh, add a little bit of paint because in that little bit of time that I drew when, and I lost the footage I ended up losing the, those spots where I had put the put the paint down so I'm going to do that right here maybe about this area here a little bit of paint about here I could probably even do larger areas. I just don't feel comfortable doing larger areas right now. I think I'm going to stick to just these little little blobs. Tiny little blobs. I'll do one here. This is a really nice green. I like it. It's really soft. And maybe, 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 a little bit here. Why not? why not <coughs> okay so there's those I'm gonna be doing a lot of spinning a lot of spinning action what other color do I want some green what does green look pretty with I know I said something about purple or violet is this it this might be it but I think I didn't I, this one was a little deeper than I wanted it to be maybe this will be pretty some kind of rose color at least on my end it's some kind of rose color let's see what it looks like yeah it is it's like a like a Victorian rose color I don't even know if that's the word for it it's like a little bit peachy a little bit muted that's nice is such a nice color I tried to order some yarn recently in this color and the store said they didn't have it it was all sold out I like this color a lot I wanted to make a I wanted to make a sweater or a cardigan at least I haven't made a sweater in a long time so I just thought hey it's time I've got time now between now and winter I might be able to finish a sweater but they didn't have this color I would have liked it in this kind of rose color so much I was very sad. They just had kind of some basic colors like beige and tan and black. Some rose would have looked so pretty. And I think that's what it was called. It was called like Victorian 
Victorian rose or something like that. I like this color. It's very nice. It's like a peachy pink. Unfortunately, it's not showing. It's not showing. Let me see if I can tweak it a little bit. A little bit of color tweaking just to see if I can get it to show true. It takes it takes a bit of takes a bit of tweaking sometimes. How about that? I think that might be just enough. Just enough. So the colors are a little better. Some kind of rose color, a little rosy color. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna leave it at that and just kind of start going in with my pen and add some designs there. That's what I'm going to do. Let me go back in there. See if we can can draw some things in there. Okay. So let's do this green one first. Oh my. It is so hot today. It's today's Saturday, right? Oh. I was outside for a good number of hours this morning and I am I roasted. I am roasted. I roasted and I am roasted. It was so hot out there. It's nice in the shade though. It was nice at least a couple of hours ago. It was nice in the shade. <laughs> Just for that little bit of that little bit of time. I'm going to do some kind of curves here. I'm going to try to make this look a little bit dimensional. We'll see if I can do that. So my curves are going to go this way on this side. Let's see if I can do it. I did hours and hours of yard work though and I was roasting myself. I wore a hat. I wore bug, bug spray. <laughs> I wore everything. I had so many things on me. The mosquitoes love me but not when I'm covered in bug spray. So bug repellent. I just try to get the one that's all natural and that usually does it. Oh man, but if I don't put that stuff on, I think I did okay on this thing. If I don't put the stuff on, the mosquitoes come after me within seconds. Something, right? They can smell me. They can just smell me and they come for me. I hate it. So I make sure that I, I put on I put on stuff to deter them. Otherwise, I'd be miserable out there. But at least I got everything done, so the backyard looks nice right now. Nice and clean. I had to do some pruning on my, my dahlias. They really, really needed it. <coughs> I really needed it. Because they did make lots and lots of flowers in the last few months. They made lots of flowers, but with the heat, they ended up losing a bunch of their foliage, and I needed to trim it off. It's kind of one of those tasks when you have when you have plants or you have a garden or something. Sometimes people forget there's a lot of pruning needed throughout the season just to kind of maintain like uh, airflow, to maintain airflow and to make sure that there aren't any kind of pests or maybe like fungal growth or anything like that. It's a lot of maintenance. So yeah. I found that, that my dahlias had some like powdery mildew on them and that's not good. Not good at all. So I had to deal with that. Do some trimming. Usually the problem is there's not no airflow and so I have to kind of trim back a bunch of the leaves. And that usually does it. Usually does it. I'll have to keep an eye on it. <coughs> Let's see. I'm going to make lots of really tight lines here. I want this outer edge to start getting kind of dark. So that's all I'm going to do is very... very small and very densely packed lines just so it looks dark. Nothing terribly special. There we go. Sometimes it's perfectly fine to just throw in lines that are just really simple, old-fashioned, just all these little lines that are close together. <coughs> hey, that's fine. I am going to add a little bit of stuff here. What can I add? I need a shape. Maybe just something old-fashioned. 
my usual little teardrops. They look almost like leaves though. Almost leaves. Why not? Just a few. Okay. And I think since I'm cut I'm heading towards this yellow this yellow section, I will I will use it. How sh how should I use it? I'm gonna connect it this way. How about that? How about that? And I'm going to see if I can add a, something that looks almost like shading, but it's coming in from the outside. Kind of, sort of. It's okay. It's kind of okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep adding those lines there. It's not a problem. <coughs> I am looking forward to doing some some knitting actually. I know it's the middle of summer, it is so hot. And I, I have no have no intention of knitting right now while it's hot, but I might actually do it. For those of you who, who do any any yarn work you know what I mean, right? When it's hot, it's just so hard. It just doesn't feel good to have yarn in, in your fingers, like in your hands. It just feels really weird. But I really want to do some knitting, so I'm, I'm trying to decide if that's going to be happening soon. I think it might. I, I picked up a couple of my, <laughs> my unfinished crochet projects, and it's okay. I just don't really feel like crocheting, though. I really want to do some knitting. I know, life life is hard, isn't it? So many decisions to make. To knit or to crochet? That is the question. I I know that this pen is very close to running out. It is almost empty, so it's it's acting up. It's acting up because the the ink levels are very, very low. So I think very soon I will be needing to switch over to another pen. I can I can definitely sense that this one is is about to croak. It's about to call it quits. Maybe I'll just fill in this spot right here. Just lines. Something like that. <clears throat> Could probably do more in there. Probably. Make it a little darker if I can. And then... Let's see here. What does this whole thing look like right now? Yeah, it's not too bad. Not the worst, not the best, but that's fine. I'll just keep going over here. Continue filling in these little these little spaces here. So let's see here. Yeah, and I think I'll just keep using the black. Why not? Finish it finish this one off. <coughs> gonna go around the edge. What kind of pattern can I make in there? What do I want to do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe I'll try that one again. Okay, there was one that I had done on the other side. It looked very nice, so I'm going to do that again right now. See what it looks like on this sort of purple, purple color. Well, it's definitely running out. This is this is a pen that's complaining. So what I'm going to do is just do some lines in this direction. So kind of down to the left, and they're curving. Just gonna fill the whole thing like that. So it's going to look like a bit of a mesh. 
So in order to create the mesh, I'm going to draw some lines in the other direction, crossing those. Some nice orthogonal lines. And they're just all going to cross, just like that, easy enough. And I think I'm going to do the same thing where at each intersection, I'm just going to draw this little dot. Looks like a little, like a fishnet kind of. A little fishnet. It's nice. Just a little fishnet. Okay. It looks good in that color too. I'll show you the other one. So the other one that I did was over here. So here it is in this almost like a turquoise blue, one of my favorite colors. So and then I did it over here in the purple. I haven't added any shading. So let me let me grab 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 maybe the blue. Let's see what it looks like with some of this deep blue in there. I'm just going to use it to create these sort of little little flick lines. I'm just going to flick, flick, flick. Make it a little darker there so there's a little shadow. That's not bad. And I notice that this blue does kind of sink into the paint. Just kind of. So it's not as deep a blue, so it's kind of nice. I just went both ways and did some cross hatching. Cross hatching. All right. I'm going to continue this pattern of circles right here. Just going to keep going. Circle, circle. I'm going to keep most of them about the same this time though. About the same. Not exactly. Approximately the same. Sometimes I'd rather do that. And try to use up this pen that's almost gone. He's almost a goner. Almost. <laughs> What's funny is I know that I've <laughs> I've thought that before. The last time I had one of these pens where I thought, oh, it's almost done. I still used it. Still ended up using it for another hour. Yeah, they're very. They're very interesting little things like that. Especially since I'm using other pens. It might look like it's done, but it is not done. Add some black in here just to kind of switch it up a little. And I need to stay in the screen, silly. Stay on the screen, silly. There we go. Should be fine. Just continue into that corner. We're just gonna fill the whole thing, aren't we? We're just gonna go for it. What can I put there? Some of the some little spirals again. How about a few spirals? We're here. Can't say no to a good spiral, can we? Or can we? Hmm. I can't. I sure can't. Couple of little spiral boys right here. That's not bad. Maybe some circles. Spirals and circles, always a nice little combination. Like that. Alright. Let's see how much farther this pen is gonna go. How much further? Further or farther? Oh gosh. There I go again, questioning words. Let's see. I should probably use the marker here, huh? Not gonna happen. Is it gonna happen? It might happen. Let's find that nice marker. This, this big one. Maybe, maybe this way I won't sit here and spend the next the next two lifetimes filling this area with black. There we go. Easier. A little bit easier. Alright, so as we're working our way around, let's take a look at it. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Maybe some stippling? Hmm. 
I could try to be a little bit more uh, time savvy, but it's fine. Just gonna take however much time I need. And just do this. If it takes forever, it's gonna take forever. It might take forever. It's kind of already taking forever, isn't it? There we go, just a tiny bit of a shadow there. So that's what we've got. What kind of silly things can we put in here? What are the silly things? You know what I don't have? Some actual good old-fashioned like circles, like a big bubbly circle. I think the only one I have is this one. It's kind of peeking out from the back. And so we're going to resolve that right now. We are going to solve that problem. Let's say, which one? Which one shall I choose? Let's say I will make a nice, nice circle right here. That will be one. Maybe up here, this one's going to be a little smaller and it's, it's also going to be kind of jutting out from behind. Oh, come on, there you go. Why are you being a little punk? There we go. This one's going to be jutting out. I need more. They're going to be smaller though. Some slightly smaller circles here. Which is probably fine because I'm going to be doing some stippling on them. I don't wanna I don't wanna sit here forever. And 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 maybe right here. And so I will fill those in as I as I get to those areas, I will add the stippling to them, I think. I think that's what I'll do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Let's keep going. So right here, I'm going to keep adding those those little little circles, but I'm not going to keep going all the way. I'm kind of just going to let them trickle this way. Just a little, like that, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. So about there. And then I'm switching. Switching. Should I use the purple? Let's see what I can get done with the purple here. I'm just going over the edge. And I'm not using this one as much right now. It's It's being a little obnoxious and that thing that I'd said earlier was it yesterday yeah during the other part of this video where I said that it's this pen works wonderfully when I'm writing with it for the most part oh yeah it works wonderful when I'm writing <laughs> oh, I'm trying to draw I'm trying to draw the lines just won't it just won't do it it's like I, I have to kind of do the lines really quickly to try to to convince it try to convince it to play nice so that's what I'm attempting to do right now <laughs> so I'm trying to convince it to play nice oh my should be good enough I'll be fine I'll get over it Oh, I have so many pens out. And you know what? I said yesterday that I was going to... Yesterday I was going to clean my desk and it still hasn't happened. It still hasn't happened. Although in my defense, my desk is still not... It's not that dirty. It's just I try to... I just want to get my, my, uh, my pens organized. I have like three or four pens pen sets out on my desk right now. And uh, the problem is that the problem is that I, I tell myself I'm going to put everything away. And then as I'm kind of organizing all the colors and laying them out, they look so pretty and so inviting. And then I think, oh no, it's fine. I'll leave them out right now and I'll make something. That's what ends up happening. And then you, you know the rest. The rest is history. And then I just never end up putting them away. It just never happens. <laughs> what a dilemma. 
What a dilemma. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. Let me move this so that it's maybe less distracting. A little less distracting. Not too much. But just a little bit. And again, I'm just continuing that <clears throat> that idea of just these really tightly packed lines around the edges. I know it can look really nice with just white around the edges, and yet I never, I just never do it, do I? It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So there we go. This is, that's another space. I might want to do some stippling here. This is too, this looks too bright to me. Maybe some lines? Lines and dots. Just to make it a little darker here. Yeah, okay, I think that's, I like that better. And let's see. Let's see. I might need might need to protect it with something, just some other random paper. Maybe, right here. I'm afraid I might end up with, with ink or paint on my hand right now, but I probably won't. So right here. And I guess the question now is, which one do I stipple with? Should I just stick with the blue? Oh no, I have other things. I have other things. No limits. Let's not do limits. Where is that beautiful pen that I was using last time? I really liked it. This, uh, the Stabilo. This one, the Stabilo. In that really nice kind of turquoise. Let's see if I can hold it down, otherwise it's gonna bounce around. Okay, that's pretty good. Dot, 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 dot. It's kind of funny because when I do this, when I do this, that is exactly what my brain is doing. Dot, 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 dot. That's all I'm thinking. It's so wonderful. If you ever need a way to clear your thoughts, stipples. Do some stippling. Your brain is just going to say dot, 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 dot. Tap, 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 tap. I'll try not to obsess too much over how I do the stippling here. I could do this for hours just in this little circle. Just gonna add a little bit more here around the edges. Essentially I'm just trying to get a gradient. Like a little bit of a gradient going, okay. That's pretty good. A little dot gradient. I won't add another color there this time. I'm just going to leave it to the one. The one color. And then I still want to decide what to do here. What can I do? What kind of silly things have I not done yet? Let's see. I've got... Colors... Are there any other colors I want to use right now? Let's see. Oh, huh, how about this one? Sepia. Although, I wouldn't even call this one sepia. Just It's a dark brown. Seppi is actually supposed to be a little bit different. It's This is a dark brown pen, but it is a very nice dark brown pen. I'm happy to use it right now. So maybe I'll try it here to do a little bit of a pattern. Let's do it. Okay, so what can I put here? How about... Hmm. Sometimes when you fill a page, it almost feels like you kind of run, run out of things, but essentially I just need to use the same things over. Let me just do, let me just do some simple circles. Circles are always a good way to go. And then the brown with the green I think should look nice, I hope. And as usual, my, my technique for filling a space like this with circles is to do the largest at the center, and then as I work my way out to the edge, they just get smaller. That's all. That's all I'm doing. 
creates a bit of a gradient. Just a little bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Each time it just gets smaller like that. Yeah, and it is soaking in a little bit so the ink doesn't seem as, as intense as it would have on its own. So that's nice. It's a little bit nice. Like that. <coughs> it's so quiet in the house. It's so quiet, it's nice. I know I've told you all before that I'm, I'm, I'm having issues with a lot of noise, but it's Saturday, so traffic is significantly reduced. It's not zero. There is some traffic outside on the street. There is a little bit. But, you know, all those all those loud cars with the, the ridiculous mufflers? You know which ones I'm talking about, I'm sure. You heard them. Just the, the obnoxious muffler people who think that they're race drivers. They're, they're not out there right now. I think maybe they're just sleeping in or something. It's a Saturday, right? It's nice. Please sleep in. Yeah. During the work week, definitely. They are, it's so much. I hear them so much. They're only driving up at maybe, <laughs> maybe 20 or 30 miles an hour, but their mufflers are so loud. So, so loud. My windows rattle. And so at least on the weekend, I get a good, good reprieve from that. I get a nice break, finally. I'm going to use that brown pen outside so that you can see the difference, how it looks on just the paper. So this one, in case you're wondering, this is a Le, le Pen. <laughs> that's funny. Le Pen. Yeah, that's what this one is. I know I see it on, on Amazon a lot. Le Pen. It's a nice pen. Let's get back in there and do some line work with this one for a little bit just to so we can see the difference how it looks on top of the paint and then just on the paper right here let's do some lines it's a little bit darker I think but yeah what I was saying is just that the the streets pretty quiet right now it was really nice. I actually enjoyed doing the yard work because the, the it was f relatively calm out there. A few cars, just normal traffic. I, that's fine. Normal traffic is fine. Just normal people in normal cars. I appreciate that a lot. Normal people. So there, we, there you can see it. It's it is a bit more, a bit more. Oops, I made a line. Oh well. More visible. more obvious. I did an extra detail there, didn't I? Extra details, that's what they are. It's a bonus line. Bonus. Okay, there we go. I did end up having a not a big deal, of course, but since I'm here just kind of chatting and rambling, I've been I've been trying to garden a lot. I know it's good for me just to be outside, even though it's kind of warm. It's good to be outside. It's good to get some sunlight and to kind of move around and the exercise that's involved and all of that. So I did... My, my husband treated me to a trip to the to the store and I, he bought me a couple of plants so that was really nice and one of the plants that he bought me was a fuchsia a fuchsia I haven't had one of those in a long time I've, I've often just not wanted to get one one because they're expensive and two because they're kinda delicate if any of you have a fuchsia they're they don't really like they don't like to be in our hot weather they're not they're not happy in in our hundred degree weather they're just not so I wasn't sure, but oh, they're so beautiful. So he got it for me. The the thing was almost forty dollars, and but it made me so happy. I've been taking care of it for such a long time. I took care of that plant, what maybe a month, 
took care of that plant for a month. It did really well. I found a really good spot for it in my yard. Kind of shady, so it wouldn't overheat. I was watering it twice a day. Giving it a little bit of compost. It was happy. It was making flowers. It looked gorgeous. And one day, the California wind kicked up. And not even a, a ba like a lot of wind. It was just like a breeze, I think. Just a breezy evening. We get that a lot. We get these kind of gale force winds. Um either in the morning or in the evening, depending on the season. And so the wind, the breeze just kind of kicked up. And that poor thing went flying. And so when I went to go check on, on things in the yard, we'll check on the dog and everything, my poor plant, that planter was on the ground, everything, all the dirt everywhere. It just sent it flying. And the stem of the plant, it was two stems, just snapped clean. So the planter and the dirt were in one place, and the, the plant and the flowers were somewhere else. Already wilted. It didn't take it long. I was so mad. First I was sad, and then I was mad. <laughs> and then I just kind of threw my hands up, and I was like, well, fine. That's just great. So my gorgeous fuchsia plant just, just croaked. One, one fell swoop. It just... A little breeze. It could have been just like the breeze kicked up and then my plant just went flying. And I lost it. I lost my plant. Oh, it, was, it was so upsetting. Thankfully my husband figured it out uh, because I hadn't bought it that long ago. They they gave us a refund. We took it over there with the receipt. They gave us a refund. And then he marched himself over to the the nursery and got another one. The very last one that they had. It was the last one. So I got it, and it is now with me, and I'm attempting to nurse it into proper health so it can be a happy girl. But this time I'm going to make sure that I put put it somewhere else so that the breeze won't send it flying. So there we go. This is the this is the line work we did right here. Let me zoom out so you can see it. Oh, that looks really nice in that color, doesn't it? So that's that brown color. It's almost... Once the line work is in, it almost looks black, but not quite. I like that a lot. I have been trying to do more more work with sepia. These kind of brown tones. I think they're very underrated. They do a lot of wonderful things, and for some reason people don't like to use brown in their in their drawings. I don't know why. I don't know. I remember someone that I was... <laughs> I remember bringing pens to someone and they they pulled out a pen from a box and they said and I, and I asked them what color did you grab and they were like oh oh no I grabbed a yucky brown and I was thinking what do you mean yucky brown it's just a color oh that looks good oh I like that that looks good with the brown I think that's a good color for doing kind of shading because it's not quite black and sometimes I, I want to do shading, but not with black, but not with gray. So maybe this this will be a good... I'm going to add some here among this, this kind of scribble pattern. Might be a good one to use to do some shading. I like that. That's pretty good. It's not yucky brown, it's just brown. Brown is a very nice color. Without it, the other colors wouldn't look wouldn't look so stunning. It's good to have this kind of this nice color for things to contrast against. Alright. I like that. Let's see if I'm just gonna add it real quick to a few other spots here. Yeah. Maybe over here as well? Over here? Here? Just a few little lines. I'm not filling it. If Hopefully you can see. You're able to see. Let me get in there a little closer. So when I'm doing this, I'm just very gently flicking my pen. So that way, the beginning of a line is thick, but the end is thinner. So like I said, that's why I kind of call them little eyelashes. The effect is that it goes from thick to thin with each stroke. And it just creates a really nice 
Nice effect there. Really nice soft shading. So that's that right there. Oh. We're making good progress around this. How long has it been? About 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, I think we should be able to finish it. I'm going to finish it. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to find a few spots where I'm just going to fill it in black. Just black. Since this is the outer edge, so I'm going to pick this one first. This one has been chosen. Just right here. Sometimes it's a good idea just to do that. Just preemptively give yourself, give yourself a break. There, and I think I'll I'll adjust this spot right here in a few. Just some little darker lines helps more interest. There we go. Let's see. Over here, I think. With some black. Maybe like that. That's not bad. I'm just going to continue going around. Just creating some little areas that will be black. And I won't paint over these areas again because the ink in this marker is is essentially like sumi ink, so it's it is water based. If I put anything else on top of this that's wet, they will blend a little. Which might be good. Might be bad. If I feel if I feel brave, I'll try putting things on top of this and see what happens. I'm just afraid that it'll get too muddy. I don't want muddy colors. Not today. Okay, so there's that. So those sections, and maybe, maybe right here, maybe right here. Let's see if I can do this. This little little edge, tiny little edge, and then probably after this, it's all gonna just, it's all just going to be a breeze. Just a breeze. There we go. That's nice. So there's that one. This is what it looks like right now. This is where we're at. A few places that I think I would like to do some stippling, but I don't know if I'd do it now. My hands are starting to bother me a little bit. You know, sometimes, especially after all that yard work, they're like a little, what should I call it, like a little stiff, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to this edge. I'm gonna get in there. So my goal right now is to to continue doing all this line work here. Should be nice. I'm going to use this nice brown pen. And essentially most of what I'm going to do here will be fairly simple, just those lines. Just lines. Just heading outward. Kind of filling the space, that's all. If I want to, I will still go in with the black pen and maybe add some gradients in there. Some lines to help create a gradient, essentially. Maybe. Maybe not. Should be good. Yeah. Just trying to remind myself that sometimes it's not necessary to complicate this. I keep thinking, new patterns, new patterns, I need to add more patterns, when the truth is I really don't. I don't need to add more, more designs or patterns. I can just use the same ones. I can use all the, the line work that I'm already familiar with. That's fine too. It's fine. We don't need to reinvent the wheel every time. Not every time, at least. Sometimes it's okay. We can reinvent that wheel. Let's see. Right here. Okay. 
tiny little lines. This pen's actually kind of tiny. I only recognize that now that I'm comparing it to some of this other line work that's here. What size is this? I don't think it says. Hmm. It's small though. Maybe, maybe a point two five or a point three something. I know it can be a little a little hard to tell sometimes. Small. It's a little guy. Just a little guy. Tiny but powerful. Just one pen. What one pen can do. There we go. That's not bad. I do like that brown a lot. It's really... I don't know, I don't know what it is, the quality of what it's doing here. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. I'm definitely going to do more... I'm going to do more drawings with, with a kind of a sepia or brown tones. I have a whole set of those. I like the way that looks. I think I, and I do believe I use my brown, my brown set, uh, this kind of sepia, where are they? I believe I put them away. I have a whole set of them. So they're essentially like the fine liners that have all the sizes, but I have one in a sepia tone. It's so busy, isn't it? I like it. It's busy. I'm going to keep using this brown this uh, this sepia. I like it a lot, so I'm just going to keep going with some sepia. Let's switch it up just a tiny bit here though. Just a tiny bit. So again, they're these sort of little teardrop shapes, but they're super, super tiny. Super tiny. Very little things. And should I go to the edge? Maybe. Maybe not all the way. Maybe partial. Maybe like that, I think. And then try to fill in the rest. Yeah, let's fill that in. So I'm just kind of scribbling it in, but in these sort of straight lines. Let's see how that works out. Almost a little scribbly. Should be fine. It's not bad. Again, this isn't a masterpiece. I'm just testing out things. I like that. Where's that black? I have a circle here I need to do some, some stippling in. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I am rotating a lot right now, but because I'm I am recording, I'm this is gonna be in real time, so should be fine. Should be fine in real time. Some rotational energy here. Dot 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 dot. Not too bad. Maybe a little darker right there. I don't know how that looks. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I think I'm going to add a little bit here as well. Just a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. And I think today's going to be a hot one out here. I think it's going to be in the upper 90s. I'm going to check really quick. Oh, it's 90 degrees outside right now and it is about the high of 97 degrees. Oh, okay, definitely. I'm starting to feel it. It's kicking in. Just that little, that little feeling that you get when just that warmth starts seeping in through the windows. It's happening right now. Okay, so I think I'm just going to continue with those lines. Hopefully my other hand isn't in the way. Let me let me see. No, okay, it's not in the way. Just making sure. I know it's a little it's a little annoying when the digits 
start blocking the view. Silly digits. There we go. Maybe a little bit more right here. And here. Okay. And then we've got this. I think I want to go the uh, kind of sideways on this. Sidewaysy. I'm going to protect this. A little bit of protection for the paper. So if this is what I mean by sideways. I'm working in in this kind of other direction. And you can see I'm not being very careful at all. I'm just throwing them in there. So they're very kind of densely packed. Nice, nice and crazy. Just like that. I ended up scribbling over here on accident, but that's fine. Like that. Just gonna go all the way over here. And then I still have those clouds that I never finished stippling in, huh? I don't know if I'll be able to do it right now. I just don't feel like my hands are up for the stippling. Maybe. It'd be nice if I used a different color pen, huh? Maybe some of that blue. Some of that blue. Got that little pink spot right there, too. This one. What can I do there? I think I'm going to just add some lines like this with a little dot at the end. Just a couple. Just something simple, like that. Line with a dot. And just keep going right here. This is why I usually don't go all the way to the edge of the paper. It can it can be a little hard to manage that edge, especially if you're you're uh, maybe from the warmth of your hands or from if you're getting any kind of sweat or anything like that. The the page will very slightly start to to warp, and so the edges will kind of lift up a little bit and whatnot. So that's why. I like the way it looks when the drawing goes to the edge. I like that. Hopefully that was in in the camera camera's view. Maybe I wasn't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I wasn't in view, I'm so sorry. Just just scribbling. Today's just a scribbly day. This is what it looks like. We're almost done. Look at that. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. I like it. Ah, there's still this big area over here. I haven't figured out what to do with it. I'll have to figure it out towards the end there. Let's see what we do. Yeah, almost done. I'm just going to keep working with this this sepia pen. Le pen. Whatever that means. The pen. This pen. Or maybe it means a pen. Some sort of pen. <laughs> oh my. If you didn't already think I was strange, maybe you'll think it now. Maybe. Just maybe. Personally, I think it's just natural. We all have these kind of, I think most people call them uh, shower thoughts, I think is the, the sort of kind of stream of consciousness. Just all these random things that come to, to mind. We all do that. We all have a little bit of that, don't we? We are all strange, silly people. Some some are better at hiding it, that's all. Some of us are not. Yeah, there we go. And I think before I move on, I want to add just a little bit more here just to make sure there's... I love me some kind of shadows. I love me some shadows. And then I just have over here, just this section, and then we're done skis. We're done. We are donuts. Doesn't have to be terribly beautiful. It can just be. 
So I'm going to kind of just scratch them in. So they can be a little bit scratchy if you want. I want to show you. A little bit scribbly. If you look at a spot and you're just like, I don't know what to do. This is this is one of the to-dos you can do. This is a to-do. To-do. So you saw I was just kind of scratching in there and now I'm scribbling. So let's let's just keep scribbling in here, I guess. That's a thing we can do. Just trying to hold it down. I don't like it when the page kind of bounces around when I'm drawing in it. There we go. It's a to-do that you can do. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hopefully it makes sense. It's just a thing. Scribble, scribble, scribble. I'm going to continue scribbling all the way in here. Just, I'll be a little more gentle towards this side. Apply a little less pressure. And over here, I'll apply more pressure. It's a scribble zone right there. It looks mostly dark. Mostly. So there's that. And I remember just right here, we want to do something. Something, something. And there's a circle over here I want to do something about. So we'll figure that out. Pink, though. What can we do with the pink? Should I draw in black on it? Finally get that black one, that black pen. <sighs> Let's see. Let's figure out that little spot. Maybe we can do something here. I'll make this little dark spot. I like doing that. So that's black. And... Okay, I know what I want to do. I'm going to add a line here. Mm -hmm. Add some lines, kind of heading outward. Line them up nice. Right there, good enough. And how about the rest is, it fans out. Maybe like that. Let's try that. Why not? I did it already. Let's the decision has been made. Maybe two more? One more? Uh, two more, it looks like. This one's going to be a little weird. There we go. That's fine. Maybe little circles in between. Circle, circle, circle. This is how you find new designs, new patterns. Something's going to call, call out to you. Someone, something you're going to see here. It's going to be pretty random, but you're going to look at it and think that's it. That's the thing I was looking for. But you have to you have to play around to find it. You really do. If you never play around, you're never going to find it. You're never going to find you know how there there it, it's a big topic of discussion in the art world when people are saying they want to discover their art style. And the, the silly part is they just, they need to make time. They need to make time to just play around. And that's, that's why the advice to artists is always to, to draw more. Draw more things. You, you won't find what you want if you never try. You just have to try. I always thought it was interesting that in so many... I, I would hear so many people complain about how, oh, they don't have time to draw every day. Well, that's just going to get less practice, that's all. That's fine. Such is life. But if you do practice, you'll eventually find your your special thing. You're going to find your special thing. I promise. I promise. Let's finish this right here. You just got to draw. Make ugly stuff. Make pretty stuff. You don't need to impress anyone. Okay. So I think this will be the last. I will leave those little clouds alone. If I ever get back to it, oh, I will stipple a little more in the clouds. But for now, I think... Things are essentially where I want them to be. I think this is pretty much what I wanted. So again, I hope that there weren't any details here that annoyed you, and I'm talking in reference to this camera that I'm trying to figure out. It's not the best, but it's a camera, and, uh, and it does its job. It does okay, doesn't it?
This is a fun little design. Fun little doodle. Five inches by seven inches. A lot of fun things going on here. Lots of stuff to try to recreate maybe later in a different drawing. Some stuff to leave. Ended up leaving this green space alone. I think it looks fine like that. Could doodle it in. I'll leave it alone. Let it be. Yeah, lots of nice little things. So I think this is it. I'm all done for today. I'm really glad that you, you joined me today. Today is Saturday for me, so I hope that you you have a good weekend. I'm having a good one so far. Getting lots of stuff done, and hopefully get we'll get some rest later today. Well-deserved rest. So I hope you do too. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.